Phoenix, but so this is the history behind, behind it. So uh, for this, uh, the way they do this, it's a prayer. They're, they're actually, it's a choreographed prayer that they do through dance. And so the, uh, the main part of the prayer is the shape there of the circle, which is universal. So for all people, it represents uh, harmony and balance, represents eternity, represents all things good and beautiful, all things holy and sacred, represents the, the balance, represents the unity, all these things represents wellness, like well-being. And so it's a, in, in essence, the, the, the dance is a prayer for that we could be uh, restored to wellness or to well-being, not just physically or mentally or emotionally, but spiritually. And of course, it's no good just to our, just ourselves, but you know, it's all part of this hoop of life where everything is connected, everybody's connected. So that shape represents that, the fact that there's no uh, corner, there's no back row, there's all front, we all have front row seats. In life, so that's the whole idea. And the four colors again represent the different uh, the directions, the seasons, the elements, the different stages of life we go through. Represents different diverse peoples as well. So basically, if you're using one hoop, you just uh, maneuver or you manipulate the hoop, and you can you can take it, you know, from side to side, different kind of ways. Um, you can bring it around this way. You can uh, you maneuver. It uh, around your body different kind of ways and what that does is it celebrates our place in the hoop of life like as individuals we do is we have a we have a role we have a place because of our interrelatedness with all creation we go through it back different kind of ways with one hoop and then you can go up to uh, you can go up to two you can use maybe a white one for the moon as we know the uh, moon is coming down from uh, full so it'd be a waning moon now but uh, the reason why I use 28 is because that's the number of days in the lunar cycle so uh, uh, out there in the prairies up in the Dakotas the uh, seasons are, are are very distinct very well defined and so then the transition from one season into the next is, is also very condensed and so when you have the uh, transition from winter to spring of course it's just going into winter now but uh, the uh, transition from winter to spring is very uh, condensed so they say like within one lunar cycle one 28 day lunar cycle every day you wake up you're gonna you're gonna see a new color you're gonna inhale a fresh fragrant fragrance as all the different signs of spring become awakened every day you wake up you're gonna hear a new sound as you know insects amphibians everything begins to stir the birds come back this is really a it's really like a like a maybe like a, a concert building to a crescendo it's so dynamic and condensed so like that 20 so that's why I use 28 to symbolize that reawakening, that transition from the cold, dark, you know, lifeless, dormant uh, condition of winter into all the dynamism, the light, the color, the beauty of spring. So that's the, the moon. But the main one, of course, is the sun. The sun is the uh, source of uh, energy, source of life in this contingent or physical world. Everything depends on the sun, the, the light, the heat, the solar energy emanating from the sun. And as human beings, we need that too. But the main thing we need is the, is the like the spiritual uh, uh, analogy of that, like the light of knowledge, like divine knowledge, and the warmth of love. You know that that love, that something holy that we need. We get that, then we can uh, progress. See, they say life is a journey, so every day we're taking a step. Then, as we go on that journey, uh, we go through stages. We go through stages, like all of us. We go through our childhood, and we go through different stages of life. It's like you're climbing a mountain. So they say as you get up to the top and it, it gets cold up there, a lot of snow. See, I can't, it's not melting it, but uh, you get that. But uh, every every stage, there's every day, every, uh, every every point of that journey, there's a test, there's an obstacle, there's a challenge. So then uh, uh, we, sometimes we get stuck, but you can't stay stuck. You've got to struggle to get through that, get past that. And that struggle, of course, is... Uh, uh, gives us the uh, capacity, you could say capacity, that we need to reach up in life, to progress, just like a plant, you know, coming out, emerging in the spring. So again, I'll, I'm just doing an overview of the part that I'm not going to dance, you know, the one to five, so you can see the story. So, uh, is it making sense so far? Okay, so then, just like a plant, you know, we, we, uh, we, uh, we begin to reach up, maybe a branch out, just like a tree, as we get knowledge, just like a here at, the, at this uh, in the halls of academia, you know, this is the whole idea is to enable the students to flourish, to blossom, to effloresce intellectually, and to just 
achieve new insights, new pers uh, perspective in life to, to achieve that. And so as we, as we grow, as we reach up just like a tree, then we, we can indeed see that. And so then, uh, like myself, when I look at people, I can look at strangers, see a lot of strangers here tonight. I can choose to do that, or I can choose to see really the potentiality we all have to blossom, that nature that we have to blossom, or effluence, just like a flower coming out. And we're really, no matter what age we are, I always I have that conviction that we can do that. We can always transform and uh, remake ourselves. Or I can look out here and see strangers. I can see like the whole uh, array of stars, constellation out here. You know, we can we can be brilliant. We can be uh, uh, a point of guidance, like the North Star, or a source of hope, like the, the Morning Star. Or I can look and see strangers. Or I can see uh, a whole bunch of eagles. You know, just like that story I mentioned before. Does that make sense, everybody?
of the world. Uh, it's also, you can see that, it's also my crystal ball, see? You can look in the future, and the future is right here. It's right now. It's all of us working together. It doesn't matter what color you are, what kind of eagle you are, we all have a place in that beautiful design. And nobody can be left out. Because as we know, if anybody's excluded, what happens? I'll show you. It doesn't matter which one is excluded. Like I would say, uh, uh, November is supposed to be uh, Native American Heritage Month, right? And what's February? Is that Black History Month? Yeah. So does that mean, doesn't that mean if it's not November or February, then we just forget all about people of African descent and indigenous people, right? No, we're all part of one whole, part of one beautiful design. So nobody can be left out. What happens if you leave anybody out? I think you figured it out. Doesn't matter which one you leave out. Sometimes these guys get stubborn, but it's okay. <laughs> but, uh, so then the idea is to uh, uh, work together to create uh, patterns of unity that enables us to uh, advance, to progress on the journey, that beautiful road of life, we're all on that. As you go on that journey, then we have so many obstacles to overcome. Uh, hatred, prejudice, ignorance, you name it. Uh, so then we have to create a bridge, a safe passage, in order for us to go beyond that rainbow. So the only way we can do that is together working together. We have to climb this summit, this mountain, or ladder of knowledge. And the only way we can do this is to work together. And once we get to the summit, what do we do? Turn around and go back? No, I just launch your flight, remember? As eagles, we can do that. We can launch our flight. And then what does the eagle see as the eagle flies on this journey at the apex? What does it see? See all these fences and walls and separation? No. You can't see that. You can just see this design here. And as you know, every eagle needs a nest. You need to have a nice place of security and comfort, a place where we can break out of our shell, whatever that is. Stand tall, open our eyes, stretch our wings, and of course, achieve our goals. Does that make sense so far?